Hello you all, I'm Black Witch Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And this is another video about the moon, the new moon that is going to take place October 6th in the sign of Libra. You guys know for these moon videos, I like to cover the moon type, the moon sign, and the numerical purpose of the moon, which basically the date that it takes place and the numerical purpose and meaning of those numbers. Of course, the crystal of the day is none other than the moon nugget, I like to call it. The Lepidolite, I love this crystal so much because it looks like little pieces of the moon that we all have access to. The Lepidolite release and remove old dysfunctional behavior and psychological patterns and gently introduce an overall change. You can experience deep emotional healing in a new stress-free, happier life i will have my moon nugget for this new moon and you can get yours at blackwitchyaya.com so first we're going to start out with the moon type so this will be a new moon and you guys know this marks the start of a brand new lunar cycle the moon will be in the sign of libra along with the moon the sun moon mercury and mars are all in libra for me when i think of libras i just think of harmony i think of peace i think of being still i think of balance like anytime I just think of the sign like it just gives me fresh air like air sign breathing oxygen calming down I'm just shooting out random stuff that I think of when I think of Libra I always just think of peace and harmony and with Libra sometimes no matter how much stress they're under I just feel like they just have this power of peace within them where they don't project their feelings they know how to associate I'm mad at this let me not be mad at this person so I feel like we should take advantage of this energy just to bring harmony and peace to us holiday season is around the corner so I know that could be a stressful for a lot of people who may have kids doing their work season if you're in sales it can be really intense with trying to make these numbers trying to get that holiday bonus it's just a really busy time coming up so I feel like you should take this time before it gets chaotic to just strive for peace calmness and stillness just take time out to really meditate even if you're not meditating for a specific purpose just meditate to get that quietness to get that still and to just recenter yourself especially even more because there is a whole lot of retrograding going on so your communication may be off you're when traveling you may be running into traffic more than you usually do your technology may be acting up i know even my ipad right here i'm like come on girl why are you about to die when you're on 89 percent like just little things like that and it can get frustrating so just to not put a stop to all of your progress that you have going on just prep yourself for patience and peace because you know things are about to start acting up you know you're going to run into traffic you know communication going to be off you know your spouse may be getting on your nerves more than usual you know at work your co-worker is going to be getting on your nerves more than usual so just prep yourself and just strive for patience and peace and with this busy season coming up with this whole lot of stuff going on in the physical world you want to make sure that you're resting as well and just remember as much as you work is the same amount you need to rest sometimes they seem like opposites but they're one and the same because they both affect each other if you work too much you're affecting your rest if you rest too much you're affecting your work if one is imbalanced you may feel really really tired and overworked if you don't work enough you may feel like you're too restful and not working enough and not seeing the money that you will make or the progress that you'll usually make so make sure you're taking this time to rest just be still, so sit your down somewhere, basically what I'm trying to say, and just recharge yourself, recenter yourself. So let's go over to the numerical standpoint. Let's start out with the number 10. It's Halloween season. I'm so excited about that. But with the number 10, it represents your destiny. It represents independence and it represents a fresh start, which is perfect for a moon phase. That's literally the start of a new cycle. So think of this as always as a mini new year. So fresh start, refresh yourself also with Libra's beauty physical appearance as well so do some spiritual bath do a self-care day if you know you need to go get a massage go get a massage make sure you treat yourself in the process and with the number 10 being over destiny independence really putting forth the effort for what you want and starting a fresh cycle making sure you're taking all of those elements into play to get what you want to get the rest that you need and make sure that you have it balanced as well and the number six speaking of balance literally 
literally has the energy of balance and harmony. I've been saying that word harmony a lot just because when I think of Libra, I think of harmony. So just make sure, like I said before, you're achieving that peace. You're achieving that stillness. Even if it's just five minutes out your day, just sit down, recharge yourself and continue going forward. Just because with the retrogrades going on, you don't want to already be tensed up that something else happened and you're even more frustrated. So just take the time to recharge yourself. And of course, the number 21, you guys heard this in my previous video, putting forth the work for what you want, learning the things you need to learn, doing the things you need to do, not depending on other people, really just being your own source of information and motivation. So in this process of rest and stillness, don't feel guilty because you still have a mission to do what you need to do to get the things that you want to achieve. So the advice that I have for this new moon and for this new era, for this time period of this new moon in Libra, get some rest, babes. Take care of yourself. You're constantly taking care of other people. Make sure you okay. If you need to sleep in on a Saturday so the chores ain't gonna get done till Sunday night, by all means, get you some rest, get some meditation, take care of yourself. When the last time you moisturized your face? When is the last time you retwisted your locks? When is the last time you took yourself out to polish your nails any color you wanted? Like anything you do to find peace, taking a walk in the park, going swimming, do something that helps you find peace so you can recharge yourself, treat yourself during this busy, chaotic time. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Let me know down below the plans that you have for this new moon in Libra on October 6th. And like I always say, as above, so below, as within, so without, as a universe, so the soul. Until next time, you guys, I show you.